The Western Carolina football team played its biggest game of the season today in Cullowhee. The Catamounts hosting Chattanooga with first place in the SOCON, hanging in the balance. Western quarterback Troy Mitchell entered the game leading the conference in total yards per game. But on the second drive of the game, Chattanooga is the team that gets off to a fast start. Jacob Huseman takes off for a 24-yard run deep into Catamount territory. That sets up Keon Williams, who finds the end zone from a yard out as the Mocs quickly take the lead of 7-0. Next drive for Chattanooga, and it's Keon Williams again. This time, a 39-yard touchdown run, and just like that, it's 14-0 Chattanooga. The Mocs rack up 512 yards of total offense today. Still in the first half, Huseman finds the end zone to make it 35-0 at halftime. In the second half, the Catamounts try to get something offensively going. Troy Mitchell connects with Car Norris Benson for the big 40-yard gain, but that drive would stall as Chattanooga gets the shutout, beating Western Carolina on its home turf 51-0. This team's done a lot this year, and, and part of taking the next step sometimes is, is, is we're taking a punch like that and seeing how we respond. We know what type of team we are and we know the feeling. You know, it, it becomes a habit. You know, once you start winning, it becomes a habit. So we got to just come back out and um, start from scratch. All right, Western will try to rebound when they play at Samford next Saturday. The oldest high school football rivalry in the Carolinas continued today when Asheville School visited Christ School. This rivalry has been going on for the past 103 years. The conditions, snowy, windy, and downright chilly for this game on campus at Christ School. Those students were braving the elements. Second quarter, Greenies up 20-6. Blues quarterback David Schill is picked off by Christ School's Sage Holly, who follows his blockers, cuts back across the middle of the field, and then takes off, returning the ball, looking like he's going to score, but he gets tripped up at the one yard line. Huge turnover, though, in this ball game. That'll set up Landon Archangelo, the quarterback who hands off to Sage Holly, who punches it in from a yard out, and Christ School increases their lead to 27 to 6. Fans having a great time and just trying to stay warm. A couple of minutes later, Archangelo finds a wide open Jones Barton in the end zone, who makes the catch right there. Christ School beats Asheville School 47. To 12. A pair of high school volleyball teams from the area competed for state championships today, Hendersonville and West Henderson. Hendersonville wins its third straight title, beating South Granville three to nothing. Cassie Bourne is the MVP. West Henderson falls to Cardinal Gibbons three to one, but congrats to both teams for a pair of outstanding seasons.